the easiest way I've found of transferring files to someone is uh, to use a transfer service called wetransfer.com. It's totally free and I haven't found any company. Some companies won't let you use Dropbox or things of that nature, but I haven't found anybody that um, eliminates using WeTransfer. So if you go to wetransfer.com, you may find a homepage that looks like this, or sometimes it looks like this. They're always changing their artwork here or their ads. Uh, but if you see this kind of a screen, you want to click on I agree. Uh, if you see this screen, you want to click on, I just want to send files. And a window like this will pop up that now gives you a place to add your files. So you want to go to <clears throat> your Explorer window on a PC or um, your Finder window. That's it. Yeah. And then just select the files that you want to send. So I'm control clicking one at a time. You can do a shift click, but however it works on your particular system, just drag them over to that box that said add my files. You'll see the list here. If you want to go to another finder window or explore window and grab more, click on add more files. You can do it again. You can keep adding files here until you get up to two gigabytes, which is a lot of files. And then um, I always click on the get a link down here. That will start the transfer. You'll see the files. You'll watch the progress here, how fast it's uploading them. My files were all kind of small, so that's why it went so fast. If you're transferring photographs, it'll take a little bit longer, obviously. But when you're done, it's just a simple matter of copy link, which is copying that link that you just saw there. It copies it into your uh, memory. Then I go over to my email program, and I just paste that link right here um, with control V on a PC or command V I think on a Mac um, type my subject line and send it to whoever I'm going to send it to click send and that's it um, when the person gets that link then it's real easy for them to download as well I'll show you what happens there open up a new window I just paste that into my browser click enter It says it's got files for me to download, so I click the download button. It opens up a, a window and I just save the file. That's all there is to it. It's super simple to use. Um, it's really quick, I think, and it's my favorite method of using uh, file transfer for people that don't have Dropbox or some other associated account. Just realize there is one other scenario you might run into uh, when you arrive at the WeTransfer window. Uh, it, that box that said Add Files may look like this, uh, which is the scenario that they have for you if you want them to email the link for you. I have not found that that works as well. So if you see this, instead of a box that says Add Your Files here, just click on the get transfer link instead of so right now it says send email transfer click down here where it says get transfer link instead then click on the three dots down here and that will open up the add your files then it's a simple matter of dragging your files and dropping them there and then you're all set so just in case you see this other link that says send email transfer like I said click here then click there, and then you're all set to go. Drop your files, and away you go. That should do it.